Well, mosquito transmitted diseases are becoming an increasingly serious public health concern. Just last week, New Jersey officials announced the first probable case of West Nile virus, but infected mosquitoes can cause some other serious illnesses as well. Dr. Nidhi Kumar is on call this morning with more on these emerging viruses and tips on how you can stay safe. Doc, good morning to you. Hi, good morning. So with all this rain, it has been the perfect breeding ground for mosquitoes, as we know. What are some of the diseases we need to look out for with these little pesky buggers? Yeah, okay, so the biggest threat to public health in our area is West Nile virus. It can have flu-like symptoms and even range to severe neurologic disease with this. Last year, we had the highest recorded amount of cases in our area from the rain, but also from these high temperatures. But we're also seeing malaria in parts of this country now. I mean, that's incredible to me. Isolated cases of dengue in New York and New Jersey. Yeah. Luckily, no Zika this year. Well, I was going to say, remember a couple of years ago before the pandemic, that was the big thing. People couldn't travel anywhere because of Zika. Yeah. Um, so let's, malaria. You mentioned yeah. malaria. I mean, it's like, I know. and, and I, I mentioned the pandemic. It just seems as though everything's on the table these days. You can't take anything for granted. But have there been some local cases of malaria here in the States? Well, we're seeing cases of malaria in Florida and Texas. And it's kind of the perfect storm because we have these super high temperatures that we've never really seen in our area before. Plus, in 2023, we have this surge of international travel. So people go abroad, they get infected, they come back here, they get bitten by a mosquito, and that mosquito can then transmit malaria locally. Now, malaria is a medical emergency. Yeah. So if you are feeling ill, you have a febrile illness, you've been somewhere where there is malaria or local transmission, you really want to seek medical attention um, because we can treat it, we can test test for it and be very vigilant if you're pregnant because it can really pose a significant threat to a pregnant woman. So I guess you know now the big issue is how do you prevent being bitten from mosquito by a mosquito because it's obviously very difficult. Yeah. Um, I mean you can douse yourself at off but essential oils I mean what, what would you recommend to people what's the most effective? Okay the chemical repellents are really the way to go picaridin or DEET are really the way to go. I know essential oils get marketed but the problem is they're not EPA regulated yeah. you don't know what you're Getting. It might smell good, but it's not effective, right? Right, well, and they evaporate. So yeah. they may repel for a period of time, but at most you're getting 20 minutes of protection here. Is there anything you need to look for on the bottle? With essential oils? Well, and you know, anything. If you're, if you're going to, like, let's say it isn't off or something like that, is it, what's like the chemical or All something right. that's the so best? So you're really looking for either DEET or picaridin. Okay, so those would be the two. Yep. Um, any uh, other suggestions for people? I mean, everybody, okay. it's the summertime, you want to be outdoors, it's inevitable, you're going to get bitten by something. But. Absolutely. There's simple things that we can do. Get rid of any standing water that's a breeding ground for mosquitoes. Use a fan when you're outside and point that fan downwards. You know, mosquitoes like yeah. to bite the lower extremities they have these flimsy little wings they're not going to withstand a fan <laughs> yeah. um, and then finally avoid those strong perfumes the scented uh, lotions that can attract mosquitoes and spatial repellents can help as well I've also heard that there's some plants that you can plant that kind of keep the mosquitoes oh, really? away but I don't know if that's actually accurate <laughs> or not the fan though I have heard they're not yeah. very strong so you can just kind of blow them away doc thanks so much good yeah. to see you